Okay, this is gonna be an unboxing now. What I'm gonna do, I got a tripod. Some people were asking me to do an unboxing. So here we go. Hopefully the reviews and everything that I was reading about this tripod are correct. If they are, I'm going to be very happy with this. And here we go. Take this out. I'm going to take this and toss this off to the side, out of the way, and here we are. Got the tripod. It's a pretty nice little tripod. Precise control, great masterpieces. And there we go. They're not using their own uh, email because I saw Joy, Joy, whatever that name is, at Outlook.com. They're using a free email. Mm. There we go. And you can see the box is empty. Put this box up over here. Got the carrying case here. Got this, open this up, and oh yes, yes, the picture showed this, this is a phone mount for my phone to be able to go on. So I got this so that my phone can go on it. Yeah, I got to open it up a bit more. And oh, they are completely right. This thing is boom. You put it there and then you go ahead and you take and you use that to go ahead and use it to mount it to the tripod. Pretty cool there. So there we go. Pretty cool, nice. Phone mount. I bought one of these and it was bad. Had to return it. So I got this. Now all I have to do is use the one that has the, uh, the cold shoe to put my lights on and microphone. This one doesn't have it as you can see, you know. It's got the one fourth, one fourth inch screw at the bottom here and at the bottom here. Pretty nice. It's going to help me. As you can see, nothing else in here except just this empty plastic. Hopefully there's nothing in there other than these things right here and that. And then I've got this that's going to mount to the tripod. Now we're going to pull the tripod out, and there's the legs. You can see the bottom has this little bag on it. You can take the bag, put it right here. There's my little mount there. Hmm, looks like there's going to be a possible problem because this screw doesn't seem long enough. OK, 
Okay, it's long enough for that one. Let's see here. Yeah, that one's not going to go. You can see here, it's got the screw on the bottom to screw it in there. And you can see here, it's got the screw. But that screw is really tiny. It won't work with that. So, got a problem there. So you can see it's a 360 swivel head. And I'm just going to lock it up. You got your degrees on here that you can turn it and everything. And you got your little legs that you can twist here. And there's the tripod. Got a little anchor here on the bottom that you can put a weight on to hold it down and weight it. It's pretty weighty. Let's see if I can do anything about these things here. Okay. As you can see, if you're sitting on dirt, you can have these spikes coming out by doing that full down. Otherwise, if you're in here on carpet like this, you can just take it and put it like that so that the spike isn't out. And, and there it is. So may have a problem. I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more because that phone case will not mount on the one angle, but it'll mount laying down. So there's a problem. So I'm going to have to deal with that. And there we are. Got little leg locks here that they lock into place. As you can see here, this one has gone into a different length than these. These are all different lengths that you can make them. So pretty cool. So as you saw, you could basically do it this way. And this one goes up quite a bit. You got a nice little level bubble here that lets you know it's level. And you got a bunch of adjustments. So, pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. So, when you take this, you can take this and you can take this off and you can put this and adjust it so the screw comes out more. So basically what you do is you attach this to this and then you attach it to here. You can't attach it otherwise. So there you go. And then you just use this screw right here to lock it in place and boom, you're all set. Move your bubble and boom, you can do your taping. So there's the tripod. Nothing else in this bag. Got this right here, an Allen wrench and the instructions for this, I'll say joil can. H78, H78C Explorer manual. So it's got all the little things. So I'm going to sit down here a little bit. Neil in there was starting to bother me. So you see the Allen wrench. And basically on these, Right here, as you can see, the Allen wrench will go right there. You can loosen these up. So, pretty nice little setup. I'm pretty happy. 
Um, people have said that this ball will be not very good. Um, yeah, it locks in place. Okay. Nice little handle here. Mm, I didn't basically connect that enough. I can do that later. Just getting that taken care of. So, now Outlook.com, uh, Facebook, Joel Can, uh, YouTube channel, Joel Can, five year warranty, uh, working hours, 10 a.m. to 1800 Pacific Standard Time uh, at 6 p.m. We were probably within 24 hours. Uh, no phone numbers. So it takes them 24 hours to get a hold of you. So there's. There it is. A little explanation of everything. Angle locking knob, mod joint, mod pod joint, center column locking knob, ball head, quick release plate. There's this sponge grip. That's this right here. And then you've got the spiked rubber feet that you can, and then this counterweight hook. So pretty decent little thing. Five year warranty. Now I'm going to basically do this and make sure that this is all good. Oh yeah. And you see now this thing ain't moving for nothing. So this thing, boom, tight. Oh yeah, you can tighten this thing down. You got pretty good. Now this is pretty good. I like this. This definitely was a good choice. Which you can go right here. There's a little notch as you can see. That'll make it go where it can go straight down. And then you can lock it right in place. That definitely locks into place. You have to turn this to basically lock it down. And boom. And this is going to work real well for me. I'm going to be able to do some videoing in the kitchen now where I'm looking down in the pot or, or the pan while I'm cooking. So I'll be able to get some good footage there. So really nice there. Now... Really nice about this. You can lock it in by these twists here on different heights. I'm going to go ahead and bring the height down quite a bit. I don't want it all that high. Okay, these same twist things right here is what you're going to use to lock this from spinning. You're going to use this top one right here. And then you've got this little lock thing right here, right below the 
numbers that lock that into place. So, yep, it'll firmly lock. Now I can't figure out how to flip this. Because the honest truth is, you can flip this. Somehow I lock the legs. It's got these little lock mechanisms right here. If I can figure out what I did, maybe that's what this Allen wrench is for. Let's see. Okay, this is how it does it, from what I'm gathering. Hmm? Okay, I haven't figured out how to change it yet. A little washer in there. Somehow this is supposed to go where it's like this and I can have my camera upside down and I can have these legs where they twist around and I can video inverted. I haven't figured out how to get these legs to unlock. They've opened up and now they're not unlocking. Those don't want to turn, so I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that a different day and figure that out. But I'm going to cut the video now. It's a pretty good tripod, so pretty sturdy. Just takes a little bit of understanding to get this. It'll lock down. It's just getting it locked. It's just twisting in the right place to basically have it locked down. You got to basically lock it down the right way. So if you don't, you know. A lot of people were like, this thing spins around. No, if you actually twist the right knobs and turn the right things and tighten it the right way, it won't move. So pretty decent tripod. So very versatile. I just haven't figured out how to invert it yet, but that's an extra feature. That's for macro photo photography. And so I'll figure that out. It's gonna take me a little bit, but you know, nice little thing, got it together, and I'm all set. And remember to like, follow, and subscribe. Have a great day.